Hi! Today we're going to have a look at the best courses, most popular courses on Coursera in August 2020 because the new list is out. So let's have a look at what's most popular on Coursera. I did a similar text already for June and other months before that, so there are a couple of differences that I wanted to mention. So that's the list basically that you can see right now on the screen. Uh, with the top spot being right now the science of well-being uh, and that's a course from Yale which basically teaches you how to be happy, what are the productivity hacks, tips for uh, being more productive, being more happy, uh, what's happiness in general. Uh, so that's like a broad course about well-being. Uh, I haven't taken it yet, it's interesting to have it on the first spot. Uh, then the second thing is machine learning, uh, from University of Stanford, Stanford University by Andrew Ng, the co-founder of um, Coursera, one of the most popular and the best well-known course in the world when it comes to machine learning, always actual, uh, always great to have, it, have this on this list. Uh, it was number one uh, in just two months ago, now it's number two. Then there's a Python for everybody, a standard course from University of Michigan which allows you to learn Python. This is a very entry-level course which allows you to get into Python, so uh, nice to have it on number three. Number four is a new thing, a, a Spanish course, a course in Spanish, uh, Camino a la Excelencia, on Gestión de Proyectos. Uh, so that's my, my poor Spanish. Basically, this course is about uh, project management. It's in Spanish from the Chilean University, I think. Uh, so we have two actually courses in Spanish right now. Uh, I will discuss the later, the, the later one uh, as, uh, as it is on number nine. Number five is IBM Data Science. This is a standard course into data science uh, that I've discussed already a couple of times here on my YouTube channel. So you can have a full review of that course in another video. Uh, so if you're interested in data science, definitely have a look at, at this course because this is like very practical introduction to data science from scratch uh, and it's very good. Uh, number six is Business Foundations. This comes from uh, Wharton and it's a business course about solving real business use cases. Uh, nice to have on number six. Number seven is Google IT Support. Uh, this is also the course that I have discussed a couple of times. This is a course coming from Google which teaches you how to use Git and other tools which are needed when you're working in IT. Uh, it is basically directed at uh, beginners but also people at intermediate level can learn a lot from this course. Number eight is a specialization from Deep Learning AI uh, called Deep Learning. Uh, this is also run by Andrew and G, the co-founder of Coursera. Uh, and this course is basically uh, the continuation of machine learning and the actual actualization of that course for, uh, I, I guess, 2018-19. That was the moment when this course went out. It's really good. Uh, it has a lot of uh, different tools that it covers from um, NLP to computer vision uh, to a bunch of other stuff that might be interesting. So especially if you went for like IBM data science and machine learning, then this is a natural next step to start going deeper into deep learning. Number nine is a course on uh, uh, in Spanish again. Uh, this course is about stressful situations and how to handle them both in your workplace and uh, in real, real life outside of the workplace. Uh, I guess it's really important. It's done by a Spanish university in, uh, and uh, I don't know Spanish that well to actually be able to follow it, but it se sounds really interesting. So if you have any comments on that and you know Spanish, please help me and give me your opinion on both this course and this course in project management. Number 10 is financial markets uh, from University of Yale. And actually this is totally free course. Uh, actually, all of them are free, but this one is really free. Uh, but uh, so uh, fi financial markets is basically about risk assessment, risk management um, in the context of financial markets. Uh, so this is the top 10 uh, courses. Uh, I can recall to you that basically all of the courses are free if you just want to audit them and you don't need a certificate, you just want to see the lectures, which is always a great option. And then if you like the course, if you want to have this course on your resume, then you can buy the certificate and it's super simple. Um, 
So this is the top 10. I'll also probably do a video about the larger list of top 30, 50, uh, perhaps, uh, and I give you a link down below uh, to the actual text when I discuss those courses, uh, so that uh, you can also have a link to each of the courses individually. Thank you for watching this episode. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel, uh, give a like below this video, and see you in the next episode.